Wallahi, I swear if they threw me in jail, I will not give up Islam. If they threw me into a cave and abandoned me, I would not give up Islam. There was some brothers and, and four or five sisters as usual. There are more sisters who convert even in that society. And there was one sister who was very quiet. She didn't say a single word, not a single word while we were there other than salam. And we were going around the table. What is your story? What is your story? Tell me your story. And when it came to her, she couldn't speak English. She's like third generation now, you know, living in that land. She speaks fluent Hebrew, uh, but she doesn't speak English. So it was being translated in Hebrew to me by the middle man, the, the brother there. And her story was so traumatic for me that it really, it shook me. And I almost had to just break down. I had to literally compose myself. This lady in her 30s, she was the wife of a rabbi. And she decided to convert to Islam after reading it on her own, studying it and whatnot. Her husband, when he found out, of course, divorced her, threatened her, and then took them to court that my wife is mentally insane and she has to be deprived of her children. She had three children. And the brother, the middleman, told me, and this literally caused me almost to break down. She, he said that this mother has not seen her children for three years. For three years, she has not seen her children because the husband has said that she's dangerous to the kids because now she has embraced Islam. For three years. And she said to me, this lady, that, Wallahi, I swear if they threw me in jail, I will not give up Islam. If they threw me into a cave and abandoned me, I would not give up Islam. And I almost broke down that this was a lady, she, she voluntarily gave up her three children. She did not lie for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She did not say an untruth. She just said, I'm a Muslim. And because of that, they took her children away from her. And it really made me feel so... Here we are, we cannot even give up our sins, brothers and sisters. You know, We cannot give up anything for Islam. But here is a lady, and she did not even grow up in a Muslim household. And she told me, if they throw me in jail, or they throw me into a cave and abandon me, I will not give up Islam. And you know, you hear these stories from Bilal ibn Rabah, from Sufun, and I'm not comparing astaghfirullah this to that, but you know, we've kind of sort of lost that level of iman in our Muslim societies. When's the last time you met somebody with that level of iman? We've kind of lost that persecution iman. But to meet these people in the very land that we know is the land of Mahshar and the land of Ard al-Mubarak, to meet the people, and they said to me, their families don't just view them as converts, their families view them as traitors. They have left the society and they have nowhere to go. They're being taken care of by poor Muslims here and there, and they're giving up their society, their luxury, their life, and in this case, their children for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If that is not going to cause us to appreciate the blessings of Islam, then what will? Brothers and sisters, let us always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted us this faith without us having to lift a finger. The majority of us were born into it. And even those who converted, yes, your struggles are more than ours, ours. But look at the struggles of the, those brothers and sisters in that land. Remember in the Quran, we learned that when the people of Jannah enter Jannah, what will they say? What will they think of? They will say as the Quran says, وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَدَانَا لِهَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَهْتَدِيَ لَوْلَا أَنْ هَدَانَ الله. This is a Quranic dua from the people of Jannah. Even when they get to Jannah, what are they thanking Allah for? Alhamdulillah, who has guided us to this hidayah. And we would never have been guided to this hidayah unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had guided us to it. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of Islam. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of the Quran. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of being of the Ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.